today's project diary I will teach you how to make a cheap homemade insecticide that's completely organic. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Now I don't know if you're aware of my Facebook gardening group um, but I've started to get asked a lot of questions uh, about certain different things and the reoccurring one is can you make a homemade insecticide? Uh, the answer is yes you can and today's video is going to be how you can make that. Now you can make some insect repellents uh, from garlic and um, chilies, uh, but today I'm actually going to show you how to make the best and most effective and cheapest insecticide sprays and here's how to do it. Now a lot of shop bought insecticides can have some really harmful chemicals in them such as formaldehyde and ammonia. Um, so today all you're going to need is a couple of household uh, ingredients. Uh, oil is one of them. Now neem oil is probably going to be the best but it is quite expensive. You can just use cheap vegetable oil and get yourself um, some eco-friendly washing up soap. Now make sure it is eco-friendly and it is the soap and not a detergent because that can also have some really harmful chemicals in it. Um, and then all you need is a spray bottle that you can get from I think two for a pound or a dollar um, and just under 500 millilitres of water. Now I am going to do a stronger insecticide today but you can half either the ingredients or double the water um, just depending on how strong you want to make it and here's how to do it. Now if you are new to gardening um, you don't need to freak out at every single insect that you see. There are quite a few beneficial insects um, such as sort of ladybirds and hoverflies. These um, insects actually prevent any aphids or any um, horrible nasties coming along and eating a lot of your, your vegetables. Now this is a contact insecticide, meaning it will kill uh, the insects immediately. It won't um, stay on the leaves or, or linger around. So you just need to spray it on where your problem is. Um, so this will kill sort of aphids, uh, white fly, uh, green fly, spider mite and things like that. So this is a really good spray if you're going to uh, have any kind of infestation. So first up you're going to need two teaspoons of oil. As I said earlier, you can use neem oil, but the cheaper option of vegetable oil or sunflower oil, and they'll work perfectly as well. Then all you need is one teaspoon of eco-friendly washing up liquid or soap. Now if you are worried about burning your leaves, you can leave the oil out, as uh, washing up liquid is the main ingredient in this mixture. The oil ingredient just helps the soap stick to any of the eggs or insects, and this helps kill them a lot quicker. Once you've mixed both of the ingredients really well, you just get yourself a bottle. Now these come in really handy for lots of things in the garden, so try and get yourself a couple if you can. Then just pour the mixture in really gently. If you do it too quickly, you're going to create too many bubbles and it may froth over. Now there is still a gap in the bottle, so I'm just going to top it up using some water. Then all that's left to do is just screw the cap on tightly. Now when you do get around to using this on your plants, don't forget to give the bottle a really good shake before applying it. And there you go, all finished. So when it comes to applying this, you need to be really careful. If you're living in a really hot climate, you need to do this after the sun has set uh, at the cooler part of the day. Um, because the oil in this will actually um, cook any leaves that you spray it on. Um, so it needs to be a relatively um, cooler cooler period when you apply this. Um, now as you can see, I'm just going to give a demonstration, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but I've got a, a white fly infestation on here. So when you're spraying it on, um, you just have to cover, cover the leaves gently and make sure you get underneath the leaves as well because there may be eggs, I'm not sure if you can see but there's, there's a good cluster of eggs under there. So just do it gently. Now if um, you are using this on uh, any leaves that have small hairs underneath, uh, like courgettes or zucchini, um, now I probably wouldn't add as much oil um, because it will just sort of uh, harm the, uh, the hairs and the leaf itself and stop the photosynthesis, so it may even uh, kill the plant. So do it gently uh, and try one plant at a time. So I'm just going to finish applying this. And as I said, this, this kills them, oh there's some green fly there, um, this kills them instantly. So you shouldn't have a problem. If they come back, this, this lasts for months and months and months, uh, I think a minimum of like three months, um, I think it can last for a year. Just give it a really good shake before you use it. And uh, there you go, hopefully that's helped you with any uh, 
insects, insect inf infestations, and um, good luck in growing your own garden, and see you again next time. Take care. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future uploads, don't forget to subscribe now. Here are some links to some of my other videos, and if you've tried these or any of my other projects, I'd love to see your progress, so please post some photos in my Facebook gardening group in the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.